Hey, what's up guys? Logan from Great Sports Cards here coming at you with a new video. And today I am going to be showing you what we brought home from the National as we spent over $10,000. And I'm excited to show you what we brought back. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this left stack over here. I tried to keep everything together the best that I could. So hopefully I was able to. So this was our first pickups from CC2 Trade Night. We ended up getting an Elijah Moore Originals case hit from Origins, a Jalen Hurts Gladiators case hit from Black. You don't see these a ton. And Jalen Hurts is one of the hottest players on the market. So was super excited to be able to grab that. How about a Rashad Bateman dual patch RPA from Phoenix, 83 of 99. And then a Lamar Jackson Rashad Bateman dual National Treasures patch to 99. And a Travis Etienne impeccable fire starter on card rookie auto, 22 of 50. I personally think Travis Etienne is going to have a really good year this year, hopefully. Even though the Jaguars might suck, I think he's going to show flashes of being one of the best dual threats in all of football. All right, next, uh, this was a deal from Bally's Trade Night. Um, if you guys went to the National, uh, Bally's was where it was at. I got the Ellie De La Cruz Blue Shimmer First Bowman to 150 and a Ellie De La Cruz Bowman Mojo On Card Auto. Uh, this was also from Bally's that same night. We got the Ja Morant Panini 1-in-1 one one RPA, 82 of 99 believe this is the true RPA on card, still sealed. It's what's hot in the market on card RPAs that are sealed. So to pick up one of the best young basketball players in the league right now, sealed RPA from one of the premier products just seemed like an absolute no brainer, especially for a good hold until next season. Next, this is probably one of the sneakier pickups. Uh, Jalen Hurts field pass on card auto to five one of five, which is his new jersey number. Uh, was very very happy to pick this up. Along with this, I got the Derek Carr contenders on card rookie auto PSA ten. I think the Raiders are going to be very very good, and Derek Carr is very underrated in the hobby. I think he's going to get a lot of love this year and possibly be an MVP contender. Next, got these in a bulk deal. Uh, Josh Allen, arguably, actually not even really arguably, is the hottest player in football right now. Everybody wants Josh Allen. So I didn't only get just a Josh Allen red, white, and blue prism rookie, but also a Donner's rated rookie of Josh Allen as well. A couple cheaper pickups, but figured, I mean, not everybody's looking to spend $1,000 plus on Josh Allen stuff. So getting a couple cheaper rookies seemed like a really good deal to me. Uh, next, being in Ohio, uh, this guy sells super well. How about a Jamar Chase Crown Royale Rookie Auto, 34 of 75. And then next, um, I bought this off of my guy Rob on IG that actually came in right before the National. So I didn't get to show you guys, but it's not... One, two, but three. Max Verstappen, Topps Chrome Portrait, PSA 10s, along with my guy, George Russell, Sapphire Spaceman Rookie, PSA 10. All right, guys, getting into the middle stack now. Um, couple PC cards right off the rip. We got a Miles Garrett Select Tie-Dye and a Miles Garrett select tiger stripe just a recurring theme in this video i will tell you guys now there is a lot of select and a lot of tie-dye stuff i personally i love select and i love the tie-dye parallels they look absolutely amazing so you're probably going to see three maybe four more in this video of select tie-dyes one of them coming up next of the guy i think is the most underrated quarterback in the hobby right now his prices are so cheap He's a reigning MVP. I, I know he's in one of the toughest divisions in football, but there's no reason why his prices should be this cheap. It is Lamar Jackson, select tie-dye concourse, 
11 of 25. I got this at Bally's in trade at a trade night. Bally's was the best part of the national. Unfortunately, people on the price floor were pretty overpriced. You had a lot of dealers that were very fair and would work with you, but a, the majority were very overpriced. So unfortunately, the show floor wasn't as popping as usual, but trade nights were better than ever. Next, I got these in trade. We got a Nick Chubb Select XRC tie-dye. This is 24 of 25, which is jersey numbered. Being a huge Browns fan, this is a super cool card to pick up. I love Nick Chubb. So probably going to end up keeping this one. Not 100% sure yet, but I love the XRCs. XRCs are some of the hottest cards in the market. People love the XRCs just because they come sealed. They're the first rookie cards, technically, of the rookies in their professional uniform. So super, super cool. And then also got this with it. How about a Deshaun Watson Silver Select XRC as well? Next, I got this again at Bally's Trade Night. Justin Herbert Select RPA 20 of 25. I have high hopes for Justin Herbert. I think they're going to win the division. I personally met Justin Herbert and watched him in the Senior Bowl. Super cool guy. Very, very good football player. He has a ton of talent. As everybody's seen now, he is an absolute stud, and I'm very happy to pick this one up. Next, I got these. Again, a reoccurring theme at Bally's Train Night. Uh, picked up a Ben Roethlisberger Panini Black Auto 4 of 5. This is the Smoke Show Signatures, still sealed by Panini. Super, super cool card of one of the best quarterbacks of my generation. Next, one of the best running backs in all of football, Dalvin Cook, flawless RPA, 12 of 15. Got a Jameis Winston, red prism, rookie auto, number to 99, who's thrown to my boy in the background, Jarvis, this year. Um, Jameis Winston, I think, has a ton of potential this year to grow. He is loaded with talent at receiver and has a top five running back all to boot in the league. And then my favorite card in the entire lot, Luca on card, Jewel Signatures, PSA 9 from Crown Royale, numbered 14 of 49. Um, I wasn't a huge basketball fan until Luca came into the league. Uh, me and my buddy would watch the international basketball games, and we would watch Luca just absolutely ball out, and I knew this guy was going to be super, super special, and he is actually what got me into collecting basketball cards. Next, we got a LaMelo Ball PSA 10 Chinese New Year Parallel. And then I actually got another card with this, but it didn't come home with me. Um, literally, I posted my pickups on Instagram. The card sold as soon as I put it on IG. So I wasn't able to showcase that card with the Tua. It was a Charles Leclerc PSA 10 Sapphire Rookie. So with this... The Tua encased BGS 9.5 inscribed fins up, 4 of 50. Tua is also loaded with a ton of talent on his team. So we will truly see what he is all about this year. And I think this might be the last year he has to prove himself worthy of being a franchise quarterback. Next, I ended up trading for this on the show floor. Uh, Jonathan Taylor's probably the best running back in all of football absolute stud mosaic orange rookie scripts psa 10 all right last stack of my pickups from the national starting it off with an f1 pickup of lando norris from tops flagship f1 black these are numbered 210 8 of 10 my favorite number so just was calling my name i like lando i just don't think he is used to his full potential at McLaren. Um, I definitely think he is making the car a lot better than it is. So love Lando and I love his potential long term. Next, we got these two cards and a lot together. Josh Allen Obsidian Rookie Auto 7 of 75. 
and a DK Metcalf Luminance Rookie Auto 3 of 5. Next, I got these two cards in a deal together off of a really good friend of mine. First deal of the National. I went without a deal for until the last 30 minutes of day one. So it was super nice to pick up these two. And then after that, another deal followed. So it just goes to show once you buy another one deal, the deals just keep on coming. Was very happy to get these. Got a Zion Revolution on card encased rookie auto. Zion's potential uh, is just absolutely enormous in the hobby. I mean, this man can go out and do drop 30 points or even 20 points and have a 360 dunk, and his stuff's just going to skyrocket in price. Haven't seen him play in about a year, so excited for his return coming soon. And then along with that, we got a Russell Wilson Certified Futures RPA, uh, number 21 of 175. Uh, Russell Wilson's one of the league's best quarterbacks on a very, very good team in a very tough division, but he is a Super Bowl winning quarterback already and has the potential to possibly do it again. Next, these three cards were probably the three biggest cards that I picked up. Um, got them on the show floor from a dealer who was very, very fairly priced and worked with me buying multiple and I was very, very excited to get these three cards. It was the biggest deal I did all weekend. So to start it off, we got a Josh Allen NTRPA 56 of 99. This is my pick for MVP this year. Just think he's going to absolutely come out and ball. He had a taste of what almost getting to an AFC championship is. And I think he is hungrier than ever. I've already talked about it. Justin Herbert. This is my guy to win the division, and I think he's going to take the Chargers to the Super Bowl this year. So the potential for this card long-term, very, very high. And next, can't go the entire national without picking up my guy, Joe Burrow, sealed contenders, variation auto. We'll look at this one for grading. It looked pretty good and was excited to pick this up, especially still sealed. Next, my favorite card of the entire week, just because it he is my guy, 2IPC. Finally, I got myself a true NT RPA of Jarvis Landry, 67 of 99, with a nasty whole Dolphins logo patch. By far, my favorite card that I picked up this entire weekend. Uh, it's not even close, just because this one is truly a PC card. Some of these others are technically collection cards, but I would, wouldn't mind selling them as well. This will never be for sale as long as I don't have to sell it. Next, we got these two at CC2 Trade Night from my boy, Staff Cards. Uh, one of the best, got easiest guys to work with. A uh, really, really good friend of mine. Absolutely love dealing with Staff. We got a Joe Burrow Mosaic Rookie Auto PSA 10. And a Justin Herbert PSA 10 Mosaic Rookie Scripts. Now, this is from retail and this is from hobby. But still, I was very, very happy to pair the Joe Burrow and Justin Herbert together just because they look really good together. And then last but not least, this was my... When I was talking about my last deal on day one, this was it. Joe Burrow Select tie-dye patch PSA 10 nasty patch and it is also a pop two there's only two tens of this card thick cards are not easy to grade and select by far isn't easy to grade don't see the pop getting much higher on this absolutely absolutely loved picking this up especially because I know I'm a Browns fan but I love Joe Burrow He's a Columbus boy, hometown, grown roots, love, love Joe Burrow. Thank you guys again for checking out and staying the entire time watching the pickups video. Truly appreciate all of you guys. means a ton. If you haven't yet, leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below what was your favorite thing we picked up. 
this entire weekend. Mine, by far, is a Jarvis Landry NTRPA, but that's just because it is a true PC card, and it's my first NTRPA of Jarvis. So thank you guys very much, and we will see you next time.